Hey, so in this video I want to talk about how to produce new sounds and new accents and new languages even if it feels like your tongue doesn't obey your brain. So this is about production of sounds. Last week's video, last week's video was about the perception of sounds and now we're moving on to talk about how to produce sounds. So basically, I, you may have heard me talk about this before, if not, real quick, remember that we all have the same vocal instrument, right? Just like learning to play guitar, you can learn to play any song you want. We all have the same vocal instrument, kind of like guitar is an instrument, right? So we can produce sounds with our lungs, our throat, our mouth, our tongue, our teeth, our lips, all these things that are part of our vocal instrument. Unless you have you know, a significant difference or disorder compared to other people, we generally all have roughly the same vocal instrument. Sure, people have different sizes, different you know, tone of voice, different pitch in your voice, but the point is you can learn to produce any sound from any language, any accent in the world. At least that's what I believe. Because if you look at, you know, you take a baby and whether that baby is born in Brazil or born in United Arab Emirates or born in Canada, born in New York City, like wherever that baby is born, whatever family they grow up in, whatever community they grow up in, that baby's got the same vocal hardware, the same vocal instruments, just a matter of the software, of what patterns they're being exposed to for them to learn how to imitate those sound patterns and language patterns. So that's the first thing I really wanna start with, is to go beyond the limiting belief that you just can't make the sounds, that you're just stuck and you'll never be able to figure it out. Because it's just you figuring out how to produce the correct physical movements that create the sound. That's all it is. So if you're struggling with the sounds, it's, it's not something that you'll never ever be able to figure out, it's just you don't have the physical movements figured out yet. Now there's lots of different ways to think about, okay, if you're where you are now and your goal is to have a native accent or get better, how do you figure out the physical movements? There's lots of different strategies for how to figure that out. The one that I think is most interesting is the keep it simple strategy, right? This And this doesn't always work, but it's where we start. So to keep it simple, you, you just try to imitate the sound as accurately as you possibly can in as much detail as you can. You listen to the target audio of a native speaker and you try to imitate it as exactly 100% as possible. That's the keep it simple method. You listen really closely and you obsess over imitating. So what's important is to notice what I didn't talk about here. I didn't talk about complicated academic words, vocabulary. I didn't talk about breaking down the anatomy and uh, mechanics of how you produce sound. I didn't talk about any of that because I don't believe that you necessarily have to learn any of that. You don't have to be an expert in phonetics. You don't have to learn all the symbols. You don't even have to know how to write the words in English to learn how to say them. There's all these things that you don't necessarily have to learn. So that's my first piece of advice is when possible, keep it simple. Focus directly on imitation, obsess with listening to the native speaker, their target, you know, the target audio that you're trying to imitate, those speech patterns, and try to copy it 100%. The tone of voice, the melody, the rhythm, the vowel and consonant sounds, everything, just try to copy it as perfectly as you can. Record your voice, listen to the recording of your voice, and that'll help you discover even more details, but it all comes down to that simple practice that most people don't do nearly as deeply as they could. That simple practice of imitating as closely as you can. And of course, there are gonna be some blind spots, some gaps, some challenges that you run into, and that is where, yes, we can start to learn about anatomy, mechanics, uh, phonetics, about all these specific things with new vocabulary and new distinctions and ways of thinking about things, and that can all be useful, right? But it's extra complexity that you don't need to start with. You only wanna bring in that complexity when you're running into challenges, at least that's my belief. So. That's my reminder to you this week. It's really two things. Number one, it's possible for you to learn to produce any sound from any accent in any language in the world. And number two, for you to do that, the most important thing is to keep it simple. Just try to imitate, obsess about exploring what is possible with your vocal instrument and trying to imitate those sounds 100%. Have fun with the challenge. It's art, it's creating, it's exploring the possibilities of your vocal instrument. So explore, imitate, keep it simple. And yes, when that fails, we can go deeper and get into the more complex topics. But to start, you can do any sound you want if you just try your best to imitate it.
and imitate it and imitate it and explore what is possible. So that's all for this week. Wherever you're watching, leave a comment below. Love to hear your thoughts. This is Will from Simple American Accent, and I hope you have a great week. Thanks. Bye.